Canva just released one of the craziest, most powerful AI tools yet. Let me show you. So recently, Canva acquired Leonardo and one of the products from that is a feature called Dream Labs. So in this video, I want to show you how to use Dream Lab and I'm going to show you some really practical examples. So ensure you watch the video to the end. So how to access Dream Lab? First of all, you have to have a Canva account. If you don't already have a Canva account, you can use the link in the description to sign up for one. Now once you're signed in in Canva, there are three ways to access dream lab so the first way is that you're going to see dream lab in this left sidebar here so you can see dream lab here so also keep in mind that this is being rolled out gradually so if you don't have access to it then you can just wait I think soon enough everyone is going to have access so the second way is for you to click where it says make me an image here that is going to take you to dream lab and the third way is for you to type this inside of your URL bar that is also going to take you to the dream lab so I'm going to use this first method here yeah and this is what dream lab looks like and by the way if you're enjoying the video and sure you like it and subscribe to the channel i really do appreciate all the love and support let's continue the first thing that i want you to take note of are these credits here so if you're using dream lab inside of the free version of canva then you're going to have 20 credits that you're going to use to create your images so each credit is equivalent to one prompt and each prompt is going to give you four images so if you're on the paid version of canva then you're going to have 500 credits which you can use per month now that is plenty of images that you can be able to play around with the next thing that we have is this prompt area here this is where we're going to describe the image that we want to create and we have this create button here which is going to become active as soon as you enter in your prompt and then down here we have a selection of styles that you can choose to create your images so we have many of them there and right next to it we have the aspect ratio and then down here you're going to have some images which can inspire you to create some images so you can see we have some really lovely images here yeah I like this this balloon image here so once you like an image and you want to see the prompt that created it or you want to create a similar image then you just click on this use a button there and now you can see the prompt here so this prompt is very detailed and this is one of the things that you need to take note of when you're using dream lab that it is best for you to use really detailed prompts if you want to get some good images so you can see our prompt here and you can see that this one is a high contrast professional photograph showcasing multiple vibrant balloons each prominently displaying a different languages greeting okay so you have that is hello and then we have bonjour let's go back to that image so you can see what it looks like yeah so this is what the image looks like and that is what that prompt looks like now if you like this image and you want to create another image that looks more or less like that one then you can go ahead and just click on create but something else that you can do which will ensure that you can get a more customized image is for you to start editing this prompt now instead of me editing this prompt which could take a bit of time I could use AI to help me with that so I'm just going to copy this prompt Prompt. and then I'm going to go to chat GPT and I'm going to ask it to create for me a prompt similar to what we have here then we can come back and use it inside of the dream lab okay so this is my prompt create a similar prompt as the one below but for wishing Alex a happy 10th birthday using words on the balloon and then down here I'm going to paste the prompt that we have copied from dream lab and then we're going to enter that okay so we can see that the first thing that chat GPT is doing is that it is generating for me an image using the new prompt and using the inspiration from the prompt that I've just given it so you can see this one says happy birthday 10 and then we have Alex here and then we have some other writings here but this is not what we asked ChatGPT for so we are going to ask it to repeat this while giving us the actual prompt that has been used to create this image so my prompt is what would be the actual prompt to generate that I want a generic prompt to use yeah then we enter that and this is the thing about chat gpt you can always talk to it as though you're talking to a friend as though you're talking to an assistant because the more you're clear with it on what you want then it is going to give you the results that you're looking for so this is the new prompt that it has generated for us yeah you can see this is an actual prompt so we're just going to copy this and then we're going to take it back to dream lab yeah we'll just remove this one 
and paste in our new one then you can see here it gives us something in parentheses so we need to add the name that we want to use here and then in the age milestone i'm going to put in 10 here because we want it to generate uh, maybe something for our 10th birthday we'll also add in a fan face here i could say something like wow and then we're going to click on create yeah and then you just wait for a little while for you to be able to create the images for you yeah you can see that we use the one to one ratio so here are our images we have this first one here i like it it says happy birthday Anne, and then it also says some other things there we have this second one here i don't really like it then we have the third one here and then the fourth one i kind of like this fourth one here it also looks really pretty let's see the first one up close yeah now up close i can see that it says happy 60th birthday here yeah, so this one we can't use it uh, because it has made a mistake there. So let's close out on this one. I think we can use the fourth one. Yeah, this one looks almost okay. Yeah, I like this one. So this is the one we're going to use. So the designs you've created inside of Dream Lab, you can now use them inside of your design. That is what we are going to use. Yeah, so this is the image that we're going to be using in our design here. So I'm going to go to the designs now and I'm going to search for a birthday card because we can use this to create a birthday card. So we have some designs here. I think we can just go with this first one here. So I'm just going to add in a page and then we're going to use this first design here because I just want you to see how you can use this within a design. So the first thing I'll do to the image we generated is that I'm going to remove the background. So remove the background on that. And now we're just going to copy it into our design here, make it a bit smaller here and maybe have it on the left hand side. Yeah, let's undo that. I think we made a mistake there, yeah, because it went inside of the photo. So we could have it somewhere up here, remove the other balloons, and then we can now have our new balloons somewhere in the corner here. Yeah, and just like that, you can see we've sort of made this uh, really nice e-card that we can use to invite people for Annie's birthday. So if I zoom in, you can see that the photo is not perfect, yeah. But I think it would suffice for us to use it in a simple um, e-birthday card. So that thing that I want to show you is that if you wanted to change the color of this design, you could either just change it by changing the color or something else that you could do now that we already have this image inside of the design. Right click it, look for where it says apply colors to page. You'll see the colors keep on changing and you can look for the color that you would like for your design to have. Yeah, so you can keep doing that until you find a nice color. I think I'm just going to stick with this. Yeah, so that is one way that you can use Dream Lab and you can use the same process that I've used to create your social media graphics, to create maybe a banner for something. Another way that you can use Dream Lab is that you can actually create logos or inspiration for your logos using Dream Lab. Let me show you that through an example. So this is my prompt. I want to create a logo for my mango juice drink that says pop mango in bold letters and health gold as the tagline. Make the colors vibrant. Create. So we have some really cool logos here. I like the second one. Let me show you how you can use it within a design again. Yeah, so you just click on it, click on use in design. And then this time we're going to search for where it says apps, look for mockups. And then we'll use it on one of these packaging mockups here. I like this one. Send the mockup to the back. And now we'll just hover this of our mock-up yeah and just like that we have a really awesome mock-up that we can use to advertise our products or we can use this as inspiration for our designs now let me know in the comments down below whether you've had an opportunity to use dream lab and what you thought of our mock-up design if you want to learn more ways on how you can use canva ensure you subscribe to the channel my name is paris and i'll catch you on the next one